A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Then Jesus entered and walked through Jericho. There was a man there, his name Zacchaeus, the head taxman and quite rich. He wanted desperately to see Jesus, but the crowd was in his way. He was a short man and couldn't see over the crowd. So he ran on ahead and climbed up in a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus when he came by. When Jesus got to the tree, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, hurry down. Today is my day to be a guest in your home. Zacchaeus grumbled out of the tree hardly believing his good luck, delighted to take Jesus home with him. Everyone who saw the incident was indignant and grumped. What business does he have getting cozy with this crook? Zacchaeus just stood there, a little stunned. He stamped apologetically. Master, I gave away half my income to the poor, and I am caught cheating. I pay four times for the damages. Jesus said, Today is a salvation day in this home. Here he is, Zacchaeus, son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to find and restore the laws. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection according to St. Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10 there is mercy for those who have erred. Scripture does not mention that Mary was presented in the temple. The pious legend emphasizes something real, Mary followed her son, her mentality and attitude were identical to Jesus, and she, like him, was entirely dedicated to seeking God's will. In the Gospel of today, Jesus warns, publicans and prostitutes will overtake you in the kingdom of heaven. Possibly, we Christians who pride ourselves on our rich tradition and faith, can learn something from Zacchaeus' story. Today's Gospel introduces us to Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector of Jericho. Tax collectors were regarded as traitors to the homeland because they collaborated with the pagan powers to collect taxes for the Romans. Hence, they became impure. Luke paints a picture of this publican as wealthy, though short in stature and disliked by the people. Zacchaeus' short stature was more a result of his feelings of inferiority, which prevented him from moving with the rest of the people. He was aware that the members of his community did not appreciate him and even hated him. Although he is a social outcast, Jesus welcomes him. With Jesus, he no longer feels short. Instead of avoiding him, this new preacher, Jesus, chose to become a guest in his home and a companion at the table with him. Sharing food was considered to be a sign of sharing life in Jewish culture. For Zacchaeus, it was an overwhelming and transforming experience of grace. And there, he begins to replan his life. The evangelist wishes to emphasize to his community that God does not exclude nor despise anyone. The grace and mercy of God recover such people. It is also when we are touched by Jesus' closeness that we become aware of our own injustices. The new behavior of Zacchaeus indicates that he has acquired a new sense of meaning and sensibility. God condemns sin, but the sinner is saved, he goes in search of him in order to bring him back. Jesus teaches Zacchaeus that gratuitous love is possible. He becomes capable of loving others when he encounters love and discovers that he is loved regardless of his sins. In that process, he makes his wealth a symbol of solidarity and fellowship. May the Virgin may obtain for us the grace always to feel Jesus' merciful gaze upon us, to go with mercy towards those who have erred.